Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you all have been enjoying your day and you're ready to check out another new design from RK Watch Designs. Now I recently did a review for one of his other new faces and if you missed that episode then click on the link above because there were a lot of positive comments about that design so I thought it'd be worth checking out one of his other ones because it had some similar functionality and it's wrapped in another very modern and stylish layout. Plus, the developer has been generous enough to supply us with another 10 free coupon codes. So once again, I'm going to be randomly selecting 10 winners from those that comment below. So make sure you participate if you want a chance to win this one. All right, without further ado, let's go check out this new release called RK110. Okay guys, as you can see, this one is an all digital variety and the digital time here is located in the bottom right LCD quadrant. And I'm really digging both the layout and the design of these separate areas for a couple reasons. First, I like seeing the information organized in a clean and easy to read manner. And as an added bonus, I really like how the developer has incorporated some interactive gyro movement effects right into the display. And what I mean by that is that when you move the watch back and forth, the four panels are simultaneously covered up with these black flaps or doors. Anyways, the effect is a nice one and I think it works really well with this layout. Okay, and now for the information that you have on the display and within those panels. Well, starting from the top, you have your power remaining. The date is shown right in the center and at the bottom is the year. The upper LCD panel to the left contains your floors climbed as well as your total steps count. The right LCD panel shows your last recorded heart rate and calories burnt. And the panel at the bottom left identifies your speed and distance traveled. And as you can see, you have some theme customizations built in where you can change the colors of both the LCD panels as well as the text for the shortcuts that are located there around the bezel. And to switch between the different themes, you just need to tap in the 3, 6, 9, or 12 positions of the face. And finally, this one has been optimized for the AOD mode. And if you want more information on the watch face that I reviewed today, then simply do a search in the Galaxy App Store under the name of this face. The full details, including the direct link, is included right in the video description. And I'm also going to be giving away free coupons to random and lucky viewers that comment below. I'm going to leave a reply under the winner's comments to let them know exactly how they can get a coupon. As always, good luck to everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.